Hello, my name is Diana, and I love watching movies. Good movies have always an interesting first line. So, in the most nerdy, totally biased way, here's one of them. There are no strings on me. No, that was not the first line. This movie is the second of a series, and the first Avenger was released in 2011. And if you didn't watch it, well, you still can enjoy this movie. Which means either the story in this second one is completely different or completely irrelevant. And a third Avenger movie is supposed to hit the theater somewhere in 2018. The movie has a budget of 250 million dollars and it smashed the box office with more than 1.4 billion dollars worldwide. Okay, what? Yep. Now, let's see the story. So, there is this bunch of superheroes, the Avengers, and there is this Philosopher villain Ultron. He thinks that the problem with this world is the people. He is not the only one. And we have the battle of the good versus the bad. No big surprise in there. But then they hire an excellent storyteller, Joss Whedon. Joss Whedon is the director and the writer of the movie. The one that brought us the movie Serenity in 2005, nominated for an Oscar for the best writing and screenplay for Toy Story in 1995, the one behind Buffy Slayer series. And he's the one also behind the Angels series. Frankly speaking, he really did a good job on this one. Even though the story was pretty simple, he really made it very interesting that we just can't get enough of it. Let's have a look at the cast, shall we? And the first Avenger is Chris Evans. Uh, you didn't see that coming? Let's start it again. And the first Avenger is Chris Evans. And Chris Evans plays Steve Rogers. You didn't see that coming? Okay, Steve Rogers, aka Captain America. Next, we have a uh, two times nominated for an Oscar, Robert Downey Jr., in the role of Tony Stark, aka Iron Man. And then we have Mark Ruffalo as Bruce Banner, aka The Hulk. Look at this handsome guy. This is Jeremy Renner, another two times nominated for an Oscar. He plays Clint Barton, aka Hokey. Will Thor be there? Yes, Chris Hemsworth was there. I am Thor, son of Odin, and as long as there is life in my breast, I am running out of things to say. Are you ready? Oh, Thor. Testosterone. Oh my goodness. Oh, excuse me. Want a lozenge? Mm -hmm. I know, right? But you know, it just need one woman to counterbalance those testosterone. I'm always picking up after you, boys. Please meet Scarlett Johansson as Natasha Romanoff, aka Black Widow. My kudos goes to Paul Bettany. Hello, I am Jarvis. This guy is really the best reincarnation of the perfect being. Throughout the whole movie, there's just cheesy lines after cheesy lines, which, in my biased opinion, is very entertaining. You need a lullaby? Call Iron Man. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Stand for what you believe in. No surrender! No surrender! I am going to surrender.
Amanda. Respect the hierarchy. Lab's all set up, boss. Oh, actually, he's the boss. I just pay for everything and design everything and make everyone look cooler. Now let's get to the point. So, can you guess what is the first line? Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I, I just wanted to tell you about my favorite scene is at the beginning of the movie, even before the first line. Yoohoo! After that scene, I know I will have a great time. And finally, here's the first line. And that is how we start a $250 million project movie. Told ya, interesting first line. And that's it! I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like the movie, share this video. If you agree or not with what I said, click the thumbs up there. And if you want more interesting opening lines in movies, subscribe to my channel. Meanwhile, let's watch that movie again.